Hey folks, Father Sanpothik from Siji Virus. Today we're going to show you our slightly developed text OFX uh, tool uh, or node for Natrum. Yeah. So um, I haven't uh, created any uh, PY plugin for it right now because uh, I need to um, I need some feedback from users and developers. So let's see how can we use it. Okay, first of all, uh, let's talk about the developer's guide here. So let's reload it. Here we go. So uh, if you want to develop it furthermore, go here in our edit expression. You will see uh, lots of codes, but the important part here is basically the out one, this guy. So I have used Python 2 format uh, for this uh, uh, string call. Um, for some safety so if you think uh, I should use Python 3 please let me know in the comment alright so this is number one and another part is in user so here in the random character section uh, you will see some expressions so here I have to use import random uh, from Python random uh, module and Python string module uh, because I didn't find um, natural random module uh, working with the string so that's why I had to you know import the random Python random module and uh, I think it is fine for uh, this purpose because uh, actually I need random uh, numbers um, in each time or each frame so I think uh, that will be good uh, if you know about uh, a string random function in natron built-in uh, built-in random function in natron uh, then uh, uh, please let me know all right um, yeah that's done that's done all right so now let's uh, start working for users and I'm coming back all right so first of all uh, I haven't created any PY plug yet uh, I will try to do that so for now press ctrl C to copy this guy and go to another document or your own working document press ctrl V to paste it press 1 and voila okay so let's close it down and let's save this guy ctrl shift s dude 1 I was doing it yeah yes okay so first of all what we need to do here to understand some things so uh, there you will see there are uh, two buttons this one is called animate text in user model this one is called markup okay let's talk about the general things first so I'm just going to disable both now it is just like before uh, you know you can use it for your uh, things like you know line spacing and uh, other good stuffs we did earlier yeah uh, in our you know normal text editor so um, if you are going to use animate text I mean in this this module you have to check animate text first and you can see that we have some pango pango going on actually this is a pango plus Python uh, development okay so now let's go here and check markup now everything will be uh, will work so what is the core difference uh, all options we had before will work not uh, we cannot just we cannot use this line spacing it will not work okay but we have a module for that that is called line spacing and here is our line spacing okay good so uh, this is uh, so first of all you have to check markup then you have to check animate text and everything will be yours and you need to write your stuff here okay just like I have done here so now let's uh, go further so this is our line spacing I have already told you about line spacing yeah now this one is called par character adjustment these guys so this is a range 
okay let's disable this guy first yeah so this is our range and what it will do it will basically uh, you know animate our type writer effect here okay I'm just going to press four yeah now okay so it may look uh, big first so let's animate it first and then we're going to work on it let's go here press one uh, let's go to zero set key and okay by the way you can see this guy I can this is called show cursor I'm just to turn it off and then let's go here in 250 or something and let's uh, do some stuff here so it's like I don't know, 24 yeah 278 okay so now you can see it is not working so press right click interpolation smooth now it will work okay now let's see let's preview it let's go here and let's do it like that okay now you can see everything is working here okay so now uh, you don't need to worry about that there is an effect offset what is effect offset effect offset means how much character should it grab right now it is grabbing six characters okay if we go farther it will go farther if we go lower it will just uh, select one effect one character for effect so I have found that six is a very sweet spot so I'm just going to use six here okay number one number two let's uh, characterize character rise what is characterize you can up it you can down it okay up it and down it so let's see uh, if we go further here something like that so let's see what is the animation here we go okay something like that okay characterize so let's use it like that you can use down and just play with it you know I'm just going to introduce you with these things so press zero I don't need that uh, now let's talk about character space what is character space it is character space yeah there we go so I have used 52 or something like that here we go so you can down it here obviously so it will be like this and here we go something like that if you want to I'm just going to use something like 60 uh, 46 something like that you know it, it looks uh, I love it I love this uh, this one actually I use this one very much okay so now let's go to character size what is character size character size is font size you can big it you know something like that now let's see yeah there we go I'm just going to use uh, let's use something like, uh, uh, something like 3.6 something zero is actually the basic character here we have in our character palette uh, where it is font size you can see this is 42 and this green is saying 42 it is actually a multiplication okay nothing else okay <clears throat> now let's go for some show cursor what is cursor cursor is you know sometimes we need uh, some typing effect so that will work here so something like that uh, okay uh, um, uh, we can change it let's go to curve editor uh, this is our range start so we can do something like uh, let's do it like that oh yeah something like that yeah okay now let's render it there we go that will be done okay now it is blinking yeah so here we go mm, let's go f somewhere here so I have given you some unicodes actually so you can use those there we go it will change or you can use this you can use this you can use this you get the drill yeah 
okay and also I have given you to type your character something like you know you can uh, I am using this uh, you can use at the rate of if you want to you can use anything anything you want yeah uh, uh, but default I use this and uh, actually I use this one pretty much here okay so type cursor type cursor is uh, speed this one is called speed so if you go to it will speed up very high if you go something like 8 let's see okay the speed will be slow got it so higher character means slower blinking or uh, bigger interval so I used to actually all right now uh, I'm coming back all right so now we're going to talk about the randomized character and uh, you will have two palettes here first one is called randomized whole text let's see what it does okay so or whatever yeah so what it does is basically check your all the scripts and randomize it like you know sometimes we need uh, interface type of things here so it will do that exactly like that okay so it will randomize all the characters and uh, it will disable everything here so yeah and other things are pretty much fine but it is uh, just for you know whole text randomization so uh, if you select both it will see uh, it will say please check only one randomized option why because both randomizing a uh, will not work so uh, let's uncheck it and uh, let's uncheck random whole text I don't need that I need some effect size so th that means six so let's select it and now you will get uh, random characters after your effect so let's see it in effect here we go take it take it take it take it so it is something you know sometimes we need sci-fi type of things so you can see that mm, uh, let's see here yeah you know RUCCOT something something like that you know so it is something like airport uh, panel or something if you if you need it yeah so this is basically it um, and here we go I will try to uh, create some presets here and uh, for animation uh, for uh, you know ease of animation um, and uh, let me know about uh, this uh, module and this uh, thing uh, what do you think and uh, what can be enhanced uh, Pango is uh, limited Pango is limited but uh, with Python we can make some interesting stuff as well so yeah uh, give me your feedback please uh, because I need to make uh, the Python uh, the py uh, py plug yeah I need to make a py plug for it so yeah and uh, and uh, for especially for developers uh, please let me know that uh, should I use Python 2 or Python 3 uh, I have used Python 2 for safety you know I am in Linux I have both of this Python but in Windows sometimes you know Python uh, can be missed so for that I have used Python 2 all right is it a problem or should I change it and uh, other things is fine uh, okay font family these are you know these are pretty uh, basic stuff it doesn't matter yeah so let me know your comment and your thought about it and uh, we will see you next time bye bye